going to be making some chili and I'm going to share all the ingredients with you, but then I'm going to also share all the things that are on this counter that are optional. You don't need all this stuff, but I like to make mine like sort of fancy and uh, I'm going to show you the basic chili. It tastes good. It tastes great, but some people just don't like all the extras. So I'm going to make it basic for you and then show you what I add to mine and why it's optional. Okay. So first we're going to start off with we have some ground fresh turkey. We have an onion. This is one that I need to use because I already use half. And I'm probably going to use some of this one as well. We have a pepper, green pepper. We have some Italian sausage, optional. We have crackers, which you will see when I show you this um, bowl because it's just going to go in a bowl, not plated. So the crackers are optional. The cheddar cheese is optional. The sour cream is optional. Now, all of these things here are not optional. So all of those things in this. So we have two things of um, tomato sauce because I'm going to be making a nice size pot. Then we also have tomato paste, one can of it. Then we also have diced tomatoes, two cans, and these are garlic, garlic, you hear me? <laughs> Basil, garlic, and oregano. So we got two of those and four cans of regular light red kidney beans. Sometimes I mix the kidney beans, but they didn't have dark ones, so I'm just going with light today. Now, the optional things is the sausage. I love more than one meat in my things like chili and stuff. So we have these Italian sausage, the crackers, which we're not going to use now. This will be for later when we get ready to eat this. I shred this on the hot chili, and I put a dollop of the sour cream. This is optional as well. Now, I will link the video to my DIY chili um, powder how to make it yourself instead of buying the packets but these are also some seasonings i like to put in my chili as well so we have parsley some chives some adobo for seasoning and a little bit of lari seasoning so these are things that i'm going to use oh wait hold on cannot forget my brown sugar so i put a dab of this in there as well and it offsets that chili and gives it this great taste it's not sweet but it just offsets the spicy tanginess of the tomatoes with the brown sugar. So these are all optional. Now, if you just want to make basic chili and see how you like it from there and kind of season it to your taste, everything else you will need. So let's get started. So I shredded my onions in my chopper and I'm going to chop up my black peppers. Now we're going to get our pot on the stove on medium heat we're going to put all the canned items into our pot make sure you drain your beans now we're going to take our tomato paste put it in a bowl and i'm going to make it thinner by adding some chicken broth guys this is optional that's why i didn't show it you can use water this is the best way to ensure that that paste gets all throughout the chili because i have put it in the pot before without thinning it out and it was a disaster. It was like a clunk of paste in there. So I put olive oil in my pan first and then I'm going to put the ground turkey in and then squeeze all of the Italian sausage out of the casing and let that start to cook with the actual onions and peppers, guys. Now this is where I put in some lorries. Now, after I had heated up my sauce with all the canned items in there, I'm going to throw about, I say about two tablespoons of brown sugar into my mix. Then I'm going to go over and check my meat and it is starting to brown. So that's when I put the other half of my chili powder over into my meat. Now you want this to continue browning and letting those seasonings just kind of marinate all through the meat. And you don't have to cook it thoroughly because this will be going into the bigger pot and it will continue to cook into the sauces of the actual chili. So now we're going to incorporate all of the meat and no, I did not drain it because it's not a lot of grease because it's a turkey. These are turkey meats, so it's not a lot of grease. And here's where you are just going to let your turkey simmer 
and do its thing. Now it looks thin because it is just freshly created, meaning the paste and everything has not had time to cook over the heat. And as the paste cooks over the heat, it will get thicker, I promise you. Watch and see. See, and this has been about a good 10 minutes. So you see it's starting to look more like chili, but it's not quite done. So I'm gonna let that sit and cook a little bit longer. That way the paste can thicken the actual chili up and we'll be back. All right, guys, please forgive me because guess what? I made a bowl for my mom-in-law and I made a bowl for Rizzy and forgot to plate the bowl for you guys. So I'm going to show you how this stuff has thickened up and how we like to eat it. So see how thick it is? Nice and thick. And I'm gonna put two nice scoops in here. And this tastes so much better the next day as well. So there we have it. And we're going to plate it. So let's plate it. So this is how I like to eat my chili. I like to cream up my sour cream like that but I'm going to put some cheddar that I shred on top first like so and then we're gonna take a dollop of the cream cheese the cream cheese I mean sour cream and I'm gonna use that so I'm gonna stick that right in there and that is my good old tasty chili and I'm going to let my cheese melt and then I'm going to enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up the video. That cheese is going to melt and it's going to be so good. Thumbs up the video. Make sure you share the video and if you have any comments, leave them below and I'll be sure to get back at you guys. I will talk to you guys later, Gators. This is where I am on social media. Be sure to check me out, but also go check out my other channel, The CPR Vibe. The link is in the description box where we talk about all things reviving our lives. There are many playlists and how-tos on this channel that can help you save your coins. You can also see my renovation journey. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you are alerted of all the new videos. Later, Gators.